we are back for the week number two on the vlog. Um, yeah, so basically I'm going to talk about just how the first week went, what, the, what other have the results been, weight loss wise, strength wise, um, just how I'm overall feeling, my energy levels, all that good stuff. Um, overall, it was a solid first week. You know, first week for me in a prep is usually my hardest just because um, your body's adjusting to the new routine. Not that I don't normally eat healthy anyways, um, but obviously i was been very, very strict, and that's how it's going to be the whole, pretty much the whole way. So um, body's still adjusting, saw um, the scale go down a couple pounds. Um, I did my check-in yesterday, I was 217.4, so down 2.6 pounds the first week and kept the calories pretty high. Like I said, 2,900 on training days and then 2,700 on rest days. So I think today I'm going to um, go over a few requests that I've gotten from my video last week. I'm going to show you the supplements that I take. It's a lot less than I used to take when I was in college or even a few years ago. Um, I'm going to talk about what show I'm doing and why I selected that show. Um, that's obviously going to be tentative, just because anything in life can happen, but I will explain um, the show. And then I am also going to explain how I met my coach and why I chose him over thousands and thousands of other online coaches that there are um, and all that good stuff. So stay tuned for more because, you know, we start off every day with coffee, greens, cardio. Let's go. Potatoes are done. Let's check them. Let's check them. Ooh. Ooh, ooh. Oh, baby. Just finished up meal prep for the next five days. So I'll do a quick uh, rundown of what we got here. So potato, the carbs are always gonna be on the left side and I put the proteins on the right side. So this is gonna be for meal, this is meal number two. So this is the 70 grams of 
jasmine rice, that's uncooked weight. I cook it all and then I remeasure it and divide it by five. So all five meals have the exact same portions. So it definitely helps with um, weight loss on the scale. So if all your meals are the exact same, then you should be losing close to the same amount of weight every single day. Um, obviously there's other variables like how much water you're intaking, how many steps you have, um, how much sleep you're getting, if it's an off day or a training day. But you know, it's, it should all be very, very close. So for, uh, so this is for all five days. So one, two, three, four, five don't have protein in it. That's because this is my pre-workout meal for my training days. Um, and, uh, I use salmon as my protein source and I'm not a fan of reheating fish. Um, so I like to cook my salmon in the air fryer for about eight minutes. It gets it nice and tender and a little cross with my, with some seasoning. And this is my, this is for uh, Wednesday. That doesn't include any, um, salmon because I don't do weightlifting. I just do abs and cardio. So that's just chicken with that. And then this meal is my white potato meal and chicken. And I also do this same exact meal post-workout, like I showed you guys last week, but I cook that on the spot, the potatoes on the spot in the air fryer for about 20 minutes, kind of make some French, some healthy French fries. So pumped about this. Um, this weekend was my first time doing my own sweet potato fries. And cause I was getting sick of the baked potatoes, sweet potatoes in the oven. I, I cut them up and made fries with them. All I, all I have on here, it's literally just cut up sweet potato. I let, did, did leave the skin on until coach tells me to take it off. And I just put garlic seasoning and Cajun seasoning. I'll show you exactly what I use. So I use this Cajun style, all purpose seasoning. And then I also use this garlic powder. So it's basic, you know, it's like sweet potato fries from a restaurant, except for no oils and no fat. Excited for this upcoming week. Let's go. All right, guys, I'm going to quickly go over my supplement stack that I'm currently taking for my prep. Um, it's pretty, pretty easy. Um, so first things first, when I wake up in the morning, like I showed you, I like to have my coffee and then my greens. But before I do all that, I do like to take a thermogenic, which is the definition of a fat burner. I'm currently taking VMI Sports White Heat. This basically just helps get you going in the morning, uh, definitely speeds up your metabolism and helps you sweat more for my morning cardio. It's not gonna give you that big of a jolt of energy. So if you're looking for something that's more stable and it's not gonna give you that jittery feeling, I recommend this. But however, start with one capsule. Um, I started off last week, this is the first time I've ever taken this product and I was doing the full two capsules and I was down to one capsule by Wednesday because it was just a little too much Yohimbine, which is great. Yohimbine is what you want when you're dieting, but it just gives you that feeling that's kind of uneasy. But overall, this product's great because it does make you get up and get out of your chair and do your cardio. So highly recommend this. As you guys have seen in my previous video, my green supplement, I'm currently doing the Cage Muscle Outlive 100. Cage Muscle is now rebranding to just Caged. So heads up if they change the branding on this, if you do want to try this. I've had both flavors. I've had the apple cinnamon. This is the berry flavor since I ran out of the apple cinnamon. The berry flavor I think might be better than the apple cinnamon, which I was surprised. But highly recommend any green supplement that doesn't have any artificial sweeteners or flavors in it. Because when you want a green supplement, you want it in your system. It's going to be one of the only things that's in your body at that time. So you want to make sure it's of the purest form before your first meal. Now I also mix in one scoop of glutamine, which is going to be five grams of glutamine. Any brand of this is fine. This just helps with the morning process as well. You can also take glutamine post-workout because it helps with recovery. And it's also good to take before bed. But there's a reason why I don't take this before bed, which you're about to see in a few minutes here. So the basic stuff that I take with my breakfast, um, this is every morning, doesn't matter if I'm training or not training, a multivitamin, just a good 
multivitamin that's non-synthetic because you don't want any metals in your multivitamin. So just make sure you do just bare minimum research to make sure you're not in taking any metals in your, in your multivitamins. So I do, this is a three capsule um, serving. So I just do it all at once in the morning with my fish oil. This is a must. If I was only taking one product on this table, if I was only allowed to take one product on this table, I think I would take fish oil just because it has so many benefits. And this also has vitamin D in it, D3 in it. So my coach wants me to take vitamin D on the side, but now I don't have to because it's with this pure form of fish oil. Get any fish oil that is wild because that's not I mean it's not made in a factory and you're getting all the your good omega three sixes and nines from fish oil. It's good for your heart. It's good for your health. It's really good for your joints, your skin, your eyes. Highly, highly, highly recommend a good fish oil. And to make sure on the label, you combine EPA and DHA is going to be right around 1,000 milligrams. So I'm getting 1,000 milligrams of EPA and DHA per one soft gel. I do two of these a day because I just feel so much better on fish oil. So highly, highly recommend fish oil. Next up, we will go with, since the rest of the stuff is pretty much workout based, I will go with my, in, my pre-workout. So I used to be really big in the stimulants. I used to take any pre-workout that was on the market. I, I tried them all. I worked at GNC for three to four years, did all that. I've come to the, to the realization that if I do two to three cups of coffee, which this is my second cup, so I usually do for sure two a day, sometimes three depending on the day. This That's enough caffeine that I need for my workout. I'm going to work out here in 20 minutes. So I work out at 4.30 every day, so I get four meals in me before I go to the gym. I don't really need any more caffeine in my pre-workout. So I take stimulant-free pre-workouts. They're also known as pump formulas. This is Bloodshot by Hostile Supplements. Um, as you heard me talking earlier on how I found my coach, they played a big role in how I found Bob. So I highly recommend this. You just wanna make sure that you have citrulline, beta alanine, and any kind of like beetroot or anything that will just help increase your vascularity, highly recommend. This stuff tastes great too. Intra workouts. Intra workouts, a lot of people do not take intra workouts because they don't really know what, what it does and, or what ingredients you need in an intra workout. I was that person. I only took BCAAs during workouts. Newsflash, BCAAs do nothing unless you have your EAAs, which is your essential amino acids to go along with it. So in my intra workout, I have the BCAAs, I have your EAAs, and I also do have 20 grams of carbohydrates. You might be thinking, Eric, why are you taking carbohydrates if you're on a prep? It is because I want to maximize my workouts. So when I'm working out, I want to be in there as long as I can for at 100%. And since I've been taking this product, this is Intra R3 by Hostile, the same exact brand as Bloodshot, the second half of my workouts are better than my first half of my workouts. That's no joke. I am shooting you straight. This is incredible. I'm going to do my best to keep this in my prep as long as I can until Bob tells me to take it out, but I'm still going to fight him on that because it does help improve my workouts. Post-workout, showed you guys this last week, so I'm not going to go too much into it. Five grams of creatine, one scoop of a natural whey isolate. Pretty simple, and I also toss in 50 grams of dextrose right now. Um, I don't really consider that a supplement because it's basically just from fruit, but um, that will be probably be coming out or uh, be diminishing here during my prep because it is a simple sugar and it's 50 grams of carbs that I'm taking in after my workout. So there's that, and then, so the other stuff that might not necessarily be an everyday thing. And actually, I lied. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna go back. So this is my MRE Light. This is Red Count One. This is a very very popular brand right now in the supplement world. Red Count One, right there. This is an animal based protein, so it has no whey, it has no dairy. 
I like to put this in with my oats in the morning. I do one scoop of this with 70 grams of blueberries in with my oats, stir it up, boom, that's, there's your meal. The only downfall about this company, which I do like this company a lot, is that it does have artificial flavoring in it. So it has artificial sweeteners. I will be pulling this out of my diet, I would say within the next eight weeks or so. So there's that. Another product that I take by Hostile, this is pretty much only on non-training days. This is your EAAs with hydration powder, so it helps with electrolytes. I like to take this during my cardio, mostly during my second cardio of the day. Right now, I'm only doing the fasted cardio in the morning, but once I start doing the, the double cardio, I will be using this on, on training days and non-training days, just because Anytime I, I throw in that second form of cardio, I want to make sure I have that protein synthesis constantly working in my body. Second from last is protein bars. Are protein bars good for you? You guys have probably all heard of Quest protein bars. I'm not a fan of protein bars, to be honest with you. Um, I've always tried to find that magic protein bar that didn't have artificial sweeteners, that didn't have sugars in it, that didn't make me feel bloated. It hasn't really happened. I mean, I've, tr I've tried some protein bars that I liked, uh, but when you're prepping, protein bars aren't really a good idea. However, my coach does have me eating one of these as a meal only on non-training days. So this replaces a whole meal. So 180 calories is a full meal for me on non-training days. So this just helps me keep me full because it has so much, 15 grams of fiber in here. Speaking of fiber, last but not least, this is... A game changer if you never had this this is fiber lies and this the brand that served that has this is species evolutionary nutrition since I've started taking this this has been magical I take this directly before I go to bed I literally make put one scoop in about eight ounces of water stir it up slam it down um, it's thick it's all it is is fiber and this will, will change your mornings because if you're anything like me or Megan, the morning is huge for when we need to go to the bathroom. So if you can start your day with a good session in the bathroom, then it just sets up your day to be that much better. So there's my supplements, guys. If you have any questions, let me know. Not that complicated. There's no special diet pill. There's no special weight loss pill. There's no special steroid pills that I take. None of that. Um, like I said, I'm doing a natural bodybuilding show. All this stuff is approved to compete. And when prep does go on, I will be slowly taking some of this stuff out as well. Like I said, anything with anything artificial will be gone. The protein bars, um, the protein powder, et cetera, et cetera. So there you go. Get him, Brad. Get him.
right, guys, gonna wrap this video up um, while I am cooking my last, second from last meal of the day. This is my post-workout meal. Um, you guys saw it earlier, it's 300 grams of white potato and 75 grams of grilled chicken. The reason why I like to cook this meal um, on fresh every day is just to change it up. You know, if, if I wasn't already having this meal once during the day, I probably um, would just prep it like I do the other meals, but you know, I'm trying to keep this prep fresh. Um, so when it comes to my show date, which I talked about earlier, so the show date, um, if I said it in the last video, I apologize, but the, the date is April 30th. That is what we're shooting for. I would say it's about 85% lock that that will be the date that I do a show. We're 16 weeks out, um, doing a longer prep than normal because I have never competed in bodybuilding and I'm not sure what my body's gonna do. So I wanna make sure I'm in the best condition as possible, along with as much keeping as much size as possible. So that is why we're doing a longer prep. The date, why did I choose April 30th? Well, the original date was gonna be May 14th, um, cause I wanted them to do my show in Vegas. I love Vegas, you know me. Um, and I think that'd be a lot of fun to be in Vegas um, for my peak week. And for also after my show, you know, we'll be in Vegas to have fun, go to casinos, go to bars and all that good stuff. But that's not happening because of scheduling. We have so many weddings um, this year and all that bullshit, you know, that you can't really, you can't get out of. So um, the date that made sense is April 30th. Um, so it's going to be a natural bodybuilding show, which I already talked about. And I'm doing OCB Federation, and that federation means I have to take a, a urine test um, 48 hours before the show, and then I also have to take a lie detector test. So when it comes to being a natural bodybuilder, there's a lot of people that aren't natural that are in the federation. They just do it to get the upper hand. I am not going for that. So from this federation, that means I have never, ever injected myself with illegal substances such as, you know, growth hormone or testosterone, anything like that, any kind of steroid performance enhancing drug. So I'm 100% natural. I have never used uh, steroids in my life. I never injected myself with anything except for the vaccine and flu shots. I know people are going to freak out about that, but uh, so yeah. So that is the date. We are going to be doing it in Columbus, Ohio. I originally, like I said, wanted to travel to do the show um, because I wanted to do the, get the whole experience and, um, you know, travel, get an Airbnb, um, do all that stuff and just be in a different, be in a different state, you know, kind of treat it like a vacation. But we, I decided that Columbus makes the most sense. Um, we can just drive there instead of flying. So we don't have to worry about inflammation while we're flying because when you fly, you really, you really gather up a lot of water and inflammation, especially as a bodybuilder, bigger person. Plus, I'll be very little body fat. So, it'll be very easy to get the body off track um, while flying. So, yep, April 30th in Columbus, Ohio. And then, um, yeah, we're going to spend probably three to four days in Columbus beforehand. Just so I'm, we have an Airbnb, be set. Don't have to worry about meals or the gym or getting my cardio in. And then we will probably spend Saturday night in Columbus after the show. Uh, Columbus is, can be fun for nightlife. You know, maybe go to a nice restaurant, maybe a steakhouse or a burger place or something. Who knows? Depends on how I feel. And then we'll come home Sunday. And then, uh, and yeah. So that is the plan. Um, like I said, 16 weeks out. Excited. Uh, I, my workout today, I did back and biceps. I felt so much better this week than I did last week. So two thumbs up there. Um, Bob, my coach, should be getting back to me um, a little later on this week, probably tomorrow. Um, we're gonna start changing our check-ins to Thursdays just because I'm in prep and I like to meal prep on Sunday. So he wants to make sure that he gets, he gives me my response and all my changes for the week. Um, plenty of time before I prep. So. That is it. Um, 
And I hope you thank you guys for watching. This is week two. Um, if there's anything you guys want to see in the next couple of weeks, like you guys want to see like a whole day of, day of me meal prepping, you know, I can edit that. So to show you each meal, how I cook it, all that good stuff. Do you guys want to see like a raw workout, like a, a full back and biceps workout, chest and triceps, legs, whatever, like a full workout of that. You guys just let me know. Anyways, thanks for watching. See you next week. This video is brought to you by The Chicken Pound. Use code ELECTRIC10 at checkout for 10% off your entire order.